Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to create that infinite wall of text in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and we're gonna start by bringing a text plus here in our timeline. Make sure that it's not a text, but a text plus. So you can just take it, drag it here in the timeline. Now you can go over in the inspector, here in title, we can just write whatever we want. So DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna change the font for Montserrat. And now for creating the infinite wall effect, we're gonna need to go down here in open effects and we're gonna search for transform and we're gonna bring the transform effect here on the text plus. Now it created a new tab here called effect. We can just click on it. We can scroll down here to advanced option and here in edge behavior, we can switch from transparent to wrap around. So nothing is happening for now, but here, if we were to go to zoom and we reduce the zoom, as you can see now, we have the text that is uh, duplicating. Now, how can we uh, make the text closer to each other? Uh, it's very easy here in image adjustment, we can just select crop and by reducing the crop here, left, right, top and bottom, we're basically reducing the space between the text. You have also access here to the rotation, uh, to the pitch, and the yaw of the text. So there is really a lot of cool effect that you can create with it. Right now, I'm just gonna bring the text plus to the second track and we're gonna go over to generator here and we're gonna bring a noise gradient behind it. We're gonna select the noise gradient and here we're gonna change the color of that gradient. I'm gonna select purple and red, for example. Now we have an animated color background behind our text and we can go back to the text and make uh, some fine adjustment to really get something that we want. So here I could adjust the top a little bit to reduce the space and have the text really close to each other. Same here with right, left, and we have everything very close to each other. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so we can see everything properly. I'm gonna change the font to black so it's uh, big on the screen. Here we go. And now we could even make some keyframing on the position uh, to have something that looks a bit more dynamic. So here, for example, I'm gonna go at the beginning of the text and I'm gonna put a keyframe on the position X and I'm gonna go at the end of the text and I'm gonna move the position X to the side. And now if we play it, as you can see, we got an animation of the text going left to right. We could go a step further here and add another keyframing on the pitch. So here I'm gonna drop a first keyframe on the pitch, go at the end and move the position of the pitch to have something that is stretched out a bit more. And now if I play it again, we have an animation both on the position X and on the pitch, which create a sort of 3D distortion effect. A bit similar to what we could get uh, using a 3D cam inside of Fusion, but now we've done everything directly in the edit page. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what kind of video you'd like to see next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.